Hi there, everyone. My name is Dushan. This is my colleague Mindegas. Hello. And uh, today we have a, a Boeing video for you. We are going to show you how to perform the noise abatement departure procedures, aka NADP. Uh, there are two procedures, NADP1 and NADP2. And uh, for the beginning, my colleague Mindegas will explain you how to perform the NADP1, or actually what it is. Okay, so the NADP1 procedure, also known as the Noise Abatement Departure Procedure 1, is not as complicated as it might look or sound. You just basically have two key points, which is your thrust reduction altitude and your acceleration altitude. So for this case, the thrust reduction altitude is 800 feet AGL, at which you go from takeoff power to climb power, but you still maintain V2 plus 10 to 20 knots and you climb all the way to 3,000 feet AGL where you put your, you accelerate to your flaps up speed while also putting your flaps up according to schedule. And this procedure is great for when you want to reduce uh, noise that is close to the airport and it is also quite similar to NADP2 which uh, Dushan will explain now. Okay, so basically the difference between NADP1 and NADP2 is that uh, at 800 feet in NADP2, we have both the thrust reduction altitude and acceleration altitude. So this means that uh, when the aircraft reaches 800 feet, uh, it will change from uh, takeoff power to climb power, while at the same time uh, pitching down to uh, raise the speed to the flaps up speed. Uh, and uh, when it reaches 300 feet AGL, it will uh, continue acceleration to the uh, normal climb speed. Now this procedure is uh, used for the overall uh, noise reduction and uh, usually when you want to reduce the noise for the areas which are further away from the airport. Okay, now that we know how these uh, NADP procedures work in theory, let's go and jump into the flight sim and see how they work in practice. Okay guys, so welcome to the Boeing 737 Plastic Simulator. Today, uh, Minigas will be pilot flying, I will be pilot monitoring. Uh, we're going to show you now the NADP1 and NADP2 procedures which we previously explained to you in the classroom. And uh, Minigas will uh, explain a little bit uh, how the aircraft has been set up basically. Yeah, so in this 737 Classic, if we go on to the CDU, the N1 limit page, we actually set it up, uh, as you can see, the takeoff power is normal, 20k. Uh, but we set up uh, CLB2 as the climb power, which is a 20% uh, reduction of uh, climb power from what we already have. We set it up like this just for example purposes so you could see uh, more clearly how uh, the thrust reduction uh, actually happens at 800 feet. So apart from that, we, if we go into the takeoff page, we set up flaps 5, CG 19.2, we have the trim set up, everything nicely, and the V2 is 134. So according to the procedure, yeah, on the MCP as well, 134. And according to the procedure, we will fly at uh, V2 plus 10 to 20 knots. If we go to the second page of the takeoff reference, we also set up the thrust reduction altitude of 800 feet. So at 800 feet, what's going to happen is uh, the aircraft itself will set uh, N1 on the MCP and reduce the takeoff power to climb power. And we will see this on the annunciator, it will say CLB. And obviously the thrust levers will go a little bit uh, aft. So that's the CDU part and uh, Dushan will be commenting on whatever I'm doing uh, from now on. So the, we are located today at uh, Gatwick, runway 08 left. We have received the clearance for takeoff and all the checklists have been done. And right now we're going to show you how to do the NADP-1 procedure. So basically Minigas will advance the throttle forward to around 40% N1 to allow the engines to stabilize. And when the engines are stabilized, he will press the TOGA button and the throttle will by itself move forward and uh, go to the pre-selected N1 value. So Minigas, when you're ready. Okay, we can do the takeoff. Setting 40% N1. Engine stable and TOGA. Check. Good. 
three, one, rotate. Close the rate, gear up. As we reach the 800 feet AGL, you will note on the MTP that the N1 uh, is turned on automatically, which we see right now. And the annunciator here shows the climb mode and the N1 is decreasing, as you can see, which is obvious here by the backward movement of the throttle. So when we reach 3000 feet AGL, uh, I will set uh, 220 knots on the MCP and uh, Mindegas will follow the flight direction, flight direction uh, bars to allow the aircraft to speed up. So we are approaching 3000 AGL. I'm setting 220. To 20 set and as we speed up Minigas will command the flaps retraction. Flaps 2. Speed check flaps 2. Flaps 1. Speed check flaps 1. Flaps up. Speed check, flaps up. Engage CMDA, please. CMDA. Okay guys, so now we're back at uh, Gatwick, uh, runway 08 left. Uh, right now we're going to show you the NADP2 procedure. So what's different this time is that uh, at 800 feet uh, AGL we have both the thrust reduction altitude and the acceleration height. So just like the last time, we are ready for uh, takeoff. Uh, like last time, Mindegas will uh, move the throttle to 40% N1 to allow for the engines to stabilize and then by pressing the toga button, uh, the throttle will move uh, by itself to pre-selected N1 position. So Mindegas, when you're ready. I'm ready, let's go. Pause the rate, gear up. And like last time, we are climbing, and uh, at 800 feet AGL, you will notice the N1 uh, will turn to on. However, unlike the last time, uh, Mindengas will now pitch down in order to allow for the aircraft to accelerate. And I will set 220. You noted here that uh, N1 decrease and the throttle move back. Flaps 2. Speed check, flaps 2. Flaps 1. Speed check, flaps 1. Clap zero. Speed check, clap zero.
Now at 3,000 feet above the ground, I will move speed to 250, which will basically be our climb speed. Engage CMDA. CMDA. Okay guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video, but keep in mind that different airlines and type of aircraft have different policies for the noise abatement departure procedure, so you might have different uh, altitudes or different uh, airspeeds and uh, etc. Uh, apart from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, if we missed out on something, uh, be sure to comment, uh, subscribe and uh, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.